Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Catholic for Life. In this channel, I talk about the Catholic doctrines, teachings, and every other practices in the Catholic Church. If you are new to my channel, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I make new videos about the Catholic Church. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the 20 signs and symbols used in the Catholic Church, why we use these symbols and signs and their history. A crucifix is a cloth with the figure of Jesus hanging on it. It is usually placed or hung in altar where the Eucharist is celebrated or where prayers are offered. The crucifix symbolizes sacrifice and atonement. On the upper side of the crucifix, you see the letters I N O L I carved into the woods. They are short form of the Latin phrase Jesus Nazarenus. Rex Ludeolum, which means Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. These are the letters that Pilate ordered to be placed on the cloth that Jesus was crucified on. The cloth is the most widespread and famous Christian symbol. It can be found in any environment that Christians are present. In the olden days, Romans used the cloth as an instrument of torture and public humiliation, and criminals are put to death on the cross. Although the cross have been around before the advent of Christianity, the Lenten and Easter season has made the cross one of the most recognized icons which represents the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. To Christians, the cross represents sacrifice, suffering, repentance, solidarity, and exclusion. The Ihesias is a symbol normally seen on liturgical equipment, sacramentals, and priest vestments. The Ihesias is a short form of the Greek word for Jesus, which is Jesus. The first two letters of Christ's name in Greek are X and P. In the Greek alphabet, the letter X equals Sh, and the letter P equals R also known as the Shiloh Clause. The letters are usually inscribed one over the other and sometimes enclosed within a circle. The dove is often used as a symbol of the Holy Spirit. It is recorded in the Bible that the Holy Spirit descended on Jesus as a dove when he was being baptized. The closed key is a symbol of papacy. This is because Christ gave the key of the kingdom of heaven to Peter, who is the first pope. The first key symbolizes power to bind and lose in heaven, while the second key symbolizes the power to bind and lose on earth. Lamb is the excellent metaphor for Christ because it is pure and innocent. And in the Old Testament, it is used as a sacrifice for God, just as Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for our sins. The statement, the Lamb of God, got its origin from the book of John. When John the Baptist addressed Jesus as the Lamb of God, the Lamb is often seen with a banner and cross, which reminds us of the great sacrifice of the Lamb. The flame also represents the Holy Spirit according to the story of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4. This symbolizes the blood and wine which transformed to the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ after the liturgy of the Eucharist. The wheat and the grape are the ingredients of the bread and wine. Flora de Lis or Lily is the flower which symbolizes our Blessed Virgin Mary. The whiteness and the beauty of the flower symbolizes the purity of our Blessed Virgin Mary. In another interpretation, it symbolizes or represents the Holy Trinity because it is three petals that is set together with a band. Triquatra represents the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It is sometimes shown with an interlocking circle. 
Alpha and Omega are the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. In the book of Revelation 22 verse 13, Christ referred to himself as the Alpha and the Omega. That is, the first and the last. This letter symbolizes the fact that Jesus Christ is the beginning and end of all creations. The Greek word for fish is issues, which is also a acronym as Jesus, Son of God, Savior. It was used by Christians during Roman persecution as an identification and marker. They used it as a secret code to identify other Christians. They also marked tomb with it to signify that a Christian was buried there. It was used to identify Christians because Jesus called his disciples fishers of men. Halo is a ring of light that surrounds somebody's head, which indicates holiness. It is used in Catholic paintings and sculpture to distinguish between those who are saints and those who are not. It symbolizes the abundant grace of God which was present in the person's life. In some churches, you see eye in the sanctuary which represents God who is everywhere and who sees everything. The symbol of St. Matthew's Gospel is a winged man. This comes from the book of Revelation in which one of the four creatures is a man. This symbol is attributed to Matthew because his Gospels deal with the divinity and humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ. The symbol of Mark's Gospel is a winged lion. It also comes from the book of Revelation in which one of the four creatures is a lion. It is attributed to man because his gospel begins with John the Baptist crying out in the wilderness. It is said that John the Baptist's proclamation of Jesus Christ is like a lion roaring in the wilderness. The symbol of St. Luke's gospel is a winged ox. This comes from the book of Revelation in which one of the four creatures is an ox. This symbol is attributed to Luke because ox is a sacrificial animal. Luke emphasizes in his gospel the sacrifice and priesthood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The symbol of St. John's gospel is an ego. It also comes from the book of Revelation in which one of the four creatures is an ego. This symbol is attributed to John because his gospel is more theological than the less of the gospels. It elevates to higher spiritual height like the ego. The olive branch is used as a symbol of peace. It is because when you ascend the dove to go and check whether the water level has gone down for them to come out of the ark, the dove lay turned with an olive branch in its mouth, which means that the water level has lowered and that peace has been restored to earth. Since those are associated with Holy Spirit, a dove with an olive branch in its mouth symbolizes the peace that the Holy Spirit brings through the grace of God. If you really learned something new today, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I make new videos about the Catholic Church. Thank you and God bless you.